good morning everyone this is vrishali in my last some sessions we discussed about some important points of processor architecture subject from unit 1 to unit 6 with some practical demonstrations i have mentioned processor architecture playlist link in below description box in this session i am going to present some important points or unit wise important points and also some uh, frequently or generally asked important questions as a exam point of view so let's see first see here there are some reference book first one is ramesh gaukar fundamentals of microcontroller and application in embedded system and second one is pearson education design with pic microcontroller so i am suggesting you you should refer this book that is ramesh gaukar fundamentals of microcontroller and application in embedded system because each and every points or each and every concepts have mentioned in this book in more simplest way or easiest way so you can refer this book next now next one is your first unit is pic microcontroller architecture so there are some important questions that generally or frequently asked in your exam first one is explain microcontroller in detail so you have to explain what is microcontroller advantages disadvantages their features their applications of microcontroller so this question generally asked for 4 to 6 mark next one is difference between microcontroller and microprocessor so you have to explain or mention any six difference between microcontroller and microprocessor so this question generally asked for 4 to 6 mark now next question is architecture of pic 18 microcontroller and program memory and data memory organization so you have to explain this question with diagram first you need to draw the diagram and after that explain those diagram point wise or their components wise so this question generally asked for 6 to 8 mark now next one there are total four components like brown out reset watchdog timer reset operations and power down mode so from these four components any two components generally asked in exam for 4 to 6 marks so you have to draw their diagrams their examples and their features now next what are the factors considered in selections of microcontroller so you have to mention any four to five factors that necessary for selections of microcontroller and explain that so this question generally asked for 4 to 6 marks next one is explain any addressing modes in pic microcontroller there are 6 to 7 addressing modes are there so you have to explain any four addressing modes with their diagram and example and last one is program of pic 18 microcontroller so first you need to draw the diagram of pic 18 microcontroller pin diagram and after that you have to explain those diagram port wise first you have to explain port a then port b port c with their pins so this two question generally asked for 8 marks next next one is unit 2 that is pick input output ports and timers so explain port structure and programming so here also you have to explain port a port b port c port d and port e with diagram so from this five ports any two ports generally asked in the exam in exam they will ask either port a or port b or port c port d means any one ports will be asked in your exam so you have to draw their pin and their features so this question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks next one is input output bit manipulation programming so for this question you need to explain and or nan so this all kind of operations with examples with their programming next one is what are the registers are used in timer and counter operation then explain delay calculation and its procedure so for this two questions you have to explain their registers their delay calculations and concept of timer and counter so this two question generally asked for 6 to 8 marks next write limitations of input output port so you have to mention any 4 to 6 limitations so this question generally asked for 2 to 4 marks and last one is explain programming of timers using embedded c so at that time you have to explain any one program related to the timer with example okay and last one is explain timers and counters so for this question you have to mention definitions of timer and counter their types their features and their applications so these two questions generally asked for 6 to 8 marks and i have already uploaded 
some points of videos in my YouTube channel. Now unit 3, pick interrupts and interfacing. So explain interrupts with example. So at that time you have to mention what is the interrupt, the types of interrupts, then uh, examples of interrupts, source of interrupts. So you have to explain these all points in this first question. So they generally ask this question for 6 to 8 mark. Then difference between interrupt and polling. So at that time you have to explain this difference uh, regarding mention total 6 difference between this interrupt and polling and also draw their diagrams. Next one is write sequence types occurs during interrupt processing. So at that time you have to explain flow chart. There is a fl proper flow chart of interrupt processing. So first you need to draw the flow chart. Then second you have to explain their sequence of steps with example. These three questions generally asked for 6 to 8 marks. Now next one is either in your exam they will ask internal or external interrupt. Write a short notes of internal external interrupts or hardware and software interrupt or maskable and non-maskable interrupt. So from these three points they will ask anyone from this interrupt. So you have to explain those interrupts with example. Generally 4 to 6 marks. Now what is meant by interrupt register? So you have to explain the register diagram with their sub points. Now next one is explain about 16 into 2 LCD with key or 7 segment display. So at that time you have to draw the diagram, their structure and explain those diagram point wise or component wise. So this question generally asked for 6 to 8 mark. Then explain interfacing relay and buzzer. So at that time you have to draw the diagram and explain relay and buzzer with their features. Last one is explain LED interfacing with diagram. So at that time you have to explain their LEDs interfacing with PIC18 microcontroller this diagram and explain that. So this question generally asked for 8 marks. So I have already uploaded this all points videos on my YouTube channel. Next unit 4 is PIC interfacing 2. So here from this unit there is a short note on CCP mode or PWM mode. So at that time you have to explain those components with their diagram. Next one is DC motor speed or stepper motor interfacing. So from this two question any one question will be asked in your exam. So at that time you have to draw their diagrams and explain their features and components. So these two questions generally asked for 4 to 6 marks and these two questions generally asked for 6 to 8 marks. Now, next one is different serial communication protocols. That is UART protocol, RS-232, SPI and I2C. So, from these two protocols, any two protocols generally used, uh, generally asked in your exam for 6 to 8 marks. So, at that time, you have to explain these protocols, their meaning, their uh, features, their uh, diagram. At the diagram is there, you need to draw their diagram and their applications and advantages and disadvantages. So you have to explain these all protocols point wise. Okay. And last one is explain serial communication programming. So you need to mention any serial communication program and explain those program using embedded C. So this 5 to 8 question generally asked for 6 marks. And last question generally asked for 8 marks. So I have already uploaded this uh, all serial communication protocols video on my YouTube channel. Next unit 5 that is PIC interfacing 3. So from this unit you need to uh, understand the study of analog to digital converter and digital to analog converter. Okay. You need to mention some basic features of analog to digital converter in this question generally for 2 to 4 marks and uh, after that explain interfacing of ADC and DAC 0808 with PIC microcontroller. So from this question you need to draw the first diagram and explain their interfacing point wise or sequence wise. So this four question means explain interfacing ADC and DAC, temperature sensor interfacing, then EEP ROM using SPI and PIC microcontroller and last one RTC using I2C with PIC microcontroller. So this four question generally asked for eight marks. So you need to draw first diagram their interfacing then you need to explain those diagram point wise or sequence wise how interfacing will be generated and how each and every components will be connected. So you need to explain those things. And last one is explain temperature sensor LM35O. 
so this question generally asked for 4 to 6 mark and you need to first draw the lm35 temperature sensor diagram their pin description and their interfacing next one is unit 6 that is current trends in processor architecture so here the first is what is mean by arm or risk architecture so you need to explain what is arm processor what is risk architecture generally 4 to 6 mark then write a short notes on arm versions then arm 9 so you need to understand what are the different versions of arm processor what are the types of arm processor and what are the different features of arm 9 arm 11 okay so you need to understand those features and mention their features in detail generally for 4 to 6 marks then uh, next is what are the advantages and disadvantages of arm processor so here you have to mention any 4 to 6 advantages and disadvantages generally for 4 marks next explain arm7 data flow model so arm7 data flow model for first you need to draw their diagram and explain those diagrams sequential wise means from first flow to last flow with example okay so generally for 8 marks and explain cpsr and spsr register here you have to explain those register generally for 4 to 6 marks and difference between PIC and ARM microcontroller. So here you have to mention any 6 difference between that with example. So I have already uploaded all these points videos on my YouTube channel. So these are the some generally or frequently asked questions. Okay as an exam point of view. So you have to prepare all these questions point wise, diagram wise or concept wise. So, so that will be helpful for everyone. Thank you.